Okay, um, yep, yeah, I'm Alan again. The Ionos family. So what? Uh, we're just doing a demonstration here. Uh, basically, what is a lot of the time people get confused, especially when doing this, the art of martial arts, for example, like things or whatever. They, they don't understand uh, some of the techniques and what we use them for, and particularly in stance. What I want to try and get across to the people here, particularly, is uh, force stance and some of what force stance can actually be used for. Because uh, a lot of people are sort of confused about what we do. Which, of course, um, you might be aware of the fact that force stance is like this, and uh, we sit in position like this. So a lot of people obviously think that, you know, it's a static technique or static training that basically in a fight, if, if I go into a fight with him, I'll be in a fight with him like this or whatever. But in reality yeah. speaking, it, it, it's only a transition stance and can be used in many different ways. Like for example, it's, it's very wrestling as well. Like he can come in at me, yeah? And I can come in with the shoulder. Right, for example, yeah? If you come in again, yeah? I can come round. Right? For example, right? So what I'm basically trying to get across to you, for example, is that force stance is a transitional stance. It's actually not just done, you don't get in a fight with someone and fight a force here. What I'm doing is, you do it slowly, as he comes in, yeah, I'm literally sinking here. When I sink, you see where I've got him? He's already over my leg, and he goes down. You understand what I'm saying? It can also be used as an attack, because in there there's a sneaky attack you might not have seen. <laughs> Which I did a bit earlier, you can shoulder bar, or you can elbow. So as he comes in, he comes through, an actual elbow. From there the fight continues on. He comes in, I've elbow. I'm in. Once I'm in, I'm in. It could even get worse than that. You can wrestle with it. Right? He comes in. Yeah, as I come, take the leg. Sweep it. You understand what I'm saying? But basically speaking, horse dance is not a static stance. It's not a stance or a fighting technique that is used in a static standing position. It is transitional. So for most people learning Kung Fu who are new to it or who don't understand it from the outside, these are some of the things why, for example, when you find me sitting in horse stance now, you know what I'm doing, right? This position is to build up straight power, Qigong, internal. And as well as that, it is used in wrestling. See, when I do that, I'm horse. When I do that, I'm horse. It also builds you up for the other stances that, for example, horse, cat, bow, cross down. It helps you to build up for that as well. But as well as that, it is actually more internal than it is external. So, you know, like I said, for some of the new practitioners learning particularly hunger or any style of comfort that you're basically doing, I just want you to understand what horse dance is for and maybe this might help you with some of the applications that might help you in your form. So, you know, good luck to you. I'd also like to add that the horse dance very strong foundation because everything begins with the leg and the power actually comes from the leg ultimately so when you practice a horse dance for 10 minutes half an hour an hour for as long as you can that will gradually build up a very strong power base which will it all come from your leg well exactly because you can't do the house without building down the foundation it's point of putting roofs and windows and doors in and you haven't even got a strong foundation a tree stands strong because it's got a strong root. You won't be able to hold that tree if you didn't have a strong root. So this is pretty much what you're doing, rooting. So good luck to you guys, man. Peace.